Let's have a bit of a longer chat, guys, about disinfectants, because it is this recurring theme that keeps popping up with people asking me if, for all, here's my bottle to show you, if for all is a disinfectant, and if it's not a disinfectant, is it going to become a disinfectant? The answer to that straight away is a no, it's not. I'm going to explain a bit about why it's not going to be. So there are two different things between disinfecting and cleaning. Disinfecting, you are killing bacteria while it's still on the surface. So you make up your an alcohol mix or a bleach to water mix. You spray it on the surface, you leave it for 10 minutes. You need the dwell time. Doesn't work if you don't leave it, leave it on for the proper dwell time. You leave it on and then it kills the bacteria while it's on the surface. A detergent is made up of surfactants, which help water actually remove it from the surface. So you're cleaning it off. Disinfecting, killing the bacteria on the surface. Detergent, removing it, completely removing it. Um, there is something happening around the world. In Australia, in the Victorian government specifically, we have a website, health.vic.gov.au. There is a whole section on disinfecting and why in everyday settings it's actually not needed and also actually really bad because the overuse of disinfecting is causing bacteria to become resistant to the chemicals. So if you've ever had kids with head lice, you would know that the head lice treatments don't kill all the damn things. The reason being the head lice are becoming resistant to the chemicals and then they're creating more head lice who are also resistant and they're co called superbugs same as bacteria so antibiotics struggling to work disinfectants struggling to work bacteria are becoming resistant and creating superbugs so the overuse of disinfecting in your own house you're disinfecting your toilet what once a once a week once a fortnight i don't know how often people disinfect their toilets but what's the point as soon as someone else goes to the toilet it's not disinfected anymore so I truly believe because of my own research on this that disinfecting clients' houses is unnecessary unless somebody has been sick. So if you work in a school setting, if you work in a hospital, if you work um, in a restaurant, you have a whole different set of rules and disinfecting is actually part of the regulations of cleaning those kind of things because of public safety. But in your house, it's not public safety. It's just your family. You're sharing your germs constantly. Disinfecting your toilet isn't saving anybody. I actually had a hospitality business before the Big Clean Co and we, it's like an American style diner. So we sold burgers and our local council actually suggested to reduce the risk of listeria, which you can reduce the risk of listeria by washing your lettuce leaves well, also storing them at cold in the fridge and also keeping them fresh. So not over storing them for days and days. The council suggested that we wash it in a tub filled with a bleach to water mix. So even in food settings, salad leaves are getting disinfected, which is kind of gross to think about, but it's in the interest of public safety because if you have salad leaves that make 100 people sick, it's bad. Um, but yeah, that's the difference between disinfecting and cleaning and why for all as a detergent is not a disinfectant, but why it also still does remove it from the surface. I'd also be really wary of anything that claims to be antibacterial. For all is, it has antibacterial properties because the essential oils do, but antibacterial, what does it mean? You're either disinfecting by killing it on the surface or you're removing it from the surface. Antibacterial, it's a little bit muddly. It's it's a marketing spin word, guys. So if you see anything that says antibacterial, ask yourself what it means. Because I don't think it means much.